One of the most widely read books in the Middle East is a book called My Vision, written by the ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. Now, while the book captures a lot of things about Dubai as a city and UAE as a country, taking you through the visions of what the rulers of this great nation have to offer, there are a lot of life lessons for us to learn from this book. The journey of making Dubai where it started to where it is, is something that's incredible. And it teaches us a lot about what we could do in our life. Sheikh Mohammed writes, failure is not falling to the ground. It is remaining there once you have fallen. And the greatest failure is when you decide not to stand up again. This is an incredible lesson for life. If we fail, we tend to remain there for a very long time. Most of us get dejected, we get annoyed, we get frustrated with life itself. But the greatest failure is just staying there. If we have fallen, it's important for us to stand up and move on. One of the common mistakes that most of us do is staying in the past. Sheikh Mohammed has a very interesting take on this. He writes, if we do not choose the future, we will be choosing the past. Our past was glorious, but it cannot dictate our present or our future. We are not required to free ourselves from our past. It continues to live in our conscience, but we have to free ourselves from staying in the past. Our present should be our starting point and the future should be our target. We must decide how to build the future. Sheikh Mohammed further goes on to talk about the importance of having a vision. He says that whatever the case, vision should always incorporate one decisive element. It must allow for implementation. History is not concerned with visions that are not implemented. It is so true. We all dream of doing things in our life. We have visions that we are going to make success. We are going to achieve success. But the fact is, if that vision is not implemented, then how is it going to be effective? One of the most important leadership lessons that Sheikh Mohammed talks about in the book is about success and failure. He says, success and failure are not permanent. If someone failed twice in eight attempts, I would still consider him successful, but would also want to analyze the failures. It is not enough to simply say that the person failed. We need to know why. This rule can be beautifully applied even in our lives. Many a times we may keep trying to do certain things and we may face failures. But that does not mean that we are an absolute failure. At least we tried. And we need to learn why we failed so that we don't repeat the same mistakes again. Something that is so relevant in today's day and age where we consume so much of content on a daily basis, Sheikh Mohammed has a very interesting solution. He says our minds are factories of ideas. The higher the quality of the raw material we absorb, the better the quality of the final product. How true is that? Whatever we tell ourselves is what we become. If we absorb a lot of positivity, a lot of positive energy, we are able to do a lot of positive things in life. But if we absorb a lot of negative energies in our life, we are not able to move forward. Many a times we do not find the right things we are looking for in our life. We do not find the right solutions. And sometimes we just give up and stop looking. Sheikh Mahmud offers a very interesting advice. He says, if I cannot overcome something, the reason could be that I have never found an appropriate way to do so. The way to conquer the impossible is to refuse to concede to despair and say to yourself, somewhere, somehow, there is a way. So let us find out what that is. Sheikh Mohammed further goes on to talk about positivity in a very different sense. He narrates a story of two guys who went to a garden to see a single weed growing. 
This was a weed of the rose plant. One of them described that I just imagined the most beautiful rose that I have ever seen in my life. The other one just said that I simply saw an ugly weed. Now, either of them are not wrong. Both of them are correct. One of them uses his imagination to see something beautiful, while the other one just described what he just saw. Sheikh Mohammed goes on to talk about that there are those who look at life positively and see in it everything that is beautiful, and those who look at it negatively and see everything that is ugly and unpleasant. Now the choice is yours, whether you want to see the beautiful world or whether you want to see the ugly part of the world. To summarize, the book My Vision is a beautiful rendition of so many lessons for life. Whether it's on a personal level, whether it's on a professional level, management level, or even as a country, the vision provides an opportunity for us to learn so much from the beautiful way of how Sheikh Mohammed has led his country and how his people love him for the leader that he is.